Right after celebrating oh, Blake's birthday, birthday in Blakey. California, we decided to head back to Washington. Our first stop was going to be Joshua Tree on our way back. And this right here was our spot that we spent the night in Palm Springs. Gorgeous place and I was so excited to head back and experience the different route that we we're taking. I even made myself up for the road and took some selfies, but as soon as we started experiencing an incline going up to Joshua Tree National Park, my truck had a check engine light on and lost power immediately. Lucky for us, we were about seven minutes to the next auto zone. It took us a little bit longer than that because I was pretty much going about 15 to 20 miles per hour due to the power loss. I felt so bad for the people driving behind me. So I got the code red, went to my trusted Facebook group for my specific vehicle. Those guys in there and ladies are so helpful. Um, they gave me some tips. One of the first things I had done was call up uh, mechanic shops, which are limited, especially for diesel engines. And those shops were booked out three weeks, four weeks. And they were asking astronomical amounts of money just to look at my truck. According to this group and some of the suggestions, one of the causes for loss of power is a bad fuel filter. I asked um, and one of the guys said I should be able to change this filter on my own. So he gave me information how to do it. I went back and this time I went to O'Reilly to get a second opinion, but I ended up buying the fuel filter and a swivel wrench so I can be able to use it to remove the filter and replace it back. I decided to record a video since I hadn't done any lately. And Blake volunteered to be the cameraman. And by the way, this is the happiest anyone can be while broken down in the middle of the desert. <laughs> but if there's anything I've learned in life, it's staying positive, keep a positive outlook on things you cannot change. I'm broken down, I'm gonna have fun with it. Unfortunately, the wind was so bad and the audio was really bad, so I had to do voiceovers. Bear with me here. Stay with me until the end. I haven't looked at how-to instructions. This actually did not come with any, but I'm assuming this goes. This, uh, this ring goes here and the other goes. I'm going to take the one out first and then see what I need to do. Oh, wait a minute, let me put my hand on first. All right, let's go. Oh, so. Oh, this is the fuel filter. I'm gonna get so dirty, but I don't care. So I'm gonna grab you some gloves. Um, do, I don't think we have any, do we? We do, we have my baseball gloves. The, oh, those ones. I think that's okay. Thank you. All right. It's on there pretty tight. <laughs> okay, it's coming off. At least it's just one wire. Looks like I can just get it by hand. Yeah. No. You can come back, Lil. Okay. So this is it, our little culprit. So I didn't have the right tool to take off the sensor, so I kind of struggled with it a little bit, but eventually got it off and I had to figure out what to do next, which was putting on the, I don't know what those things are called, like rubber seals, I would imagine. So I was basically doing everything that was on the original fuel filter. I had to, hi dress the wires that were on the sensor and just wrap them around and stuff like that and um, just making sure everything was as it was before as i was editing the video i realized blake had a little fun of his own kids these days am i right <laughs> Thank you. 
think it's all in there. Maybe one more for good measure. Okay, after we're done installing the fuel pump, we took turns priming it. We have had experience doing this because we've had to do it a couple times. Um, and here we go, let's try it out. I cannot find the rest of the footage for this, but at the end of the day, we primed it again and it works like a charm. And so this is kind of like a victory pose here. We ended up making it to Joshua Tree National Park and back to Washington State. And that was after going through some of the most fascinating places like Utah, Zion National Park. Uh, we did a few stops and I possibly will do a video on those. Enjoyed the rest of the photos. Blake didn't feel like taking pictures for some reason. I don't remember why he was mad, but um, at the end of the day, we all had fun and we now know how to change the fuel filter if we ever need it. I am so thankful for the community of GMC truck owners and and everyone in general helped out truly there's some negative things in the world that go on but this was such a positive one as i said in my last video i am working on my grand caravan and i'm converting it into a two sleeper i'm changing quite a lot of things i am putting um, shiplap and all kinds of stuff and this is how far i have gone so far i've had other projects come up but I'm still working on the minivan and it's coming up. And this is what she looks like as of now. Talk to you soon, guys. I will be coming back shortly with another video of the conversion. And by the way, guys, I would love to hear what you've been up to. What's been keeping you busy this spring, almost summer? Leave a comment below. Let me know how you've been. Per usual, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye for now.